everyone. My name is Sarah Herring. This is Matt Savage, and we have a great show for you today. Matt, you talked to some of the most vocal personalities in poker. That's an understatement. I got to talk to the always vivacious Jennifer Tilly, plus I sat down with World Series Poker Media Director and writer Nolan Dalla. Yes, and we talked to some poker players about the treatment of women in poker, including recent Hall of Fame inductee Jennifer Harmon. Now let's just get this show on the road. Let's get to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where you got to catch up with poker addict as well as movie star Jennifer Tilly. Let's do it. As a woman, I certainly would love to see more ladies in the game of poker. Now recently, there's been a lot of chatter both in online forums and in social media about the poor treatment of women both on the felt and online. We asked around to find out more about this important issue that affects women in poker today. Now, not all women feel that way. Recent Hall of Fame inductee Jennifer Harmon had some interesting comments on the subject. It's essential that we all appreciate each other's differences and treat each other with respect and dignity both at the poker table and in the world. We'll be back with more from Inside Poker. Welcome back to Inside Poker. We caught up with Jennifer Harmon during the World Series of Poker main event final table to find out about her 2015 Poker Hall of Fame induction. Hello everyone and welcome to Inside Poker. My name is Sarah Herring and I am joined by the tournament director, Mr. Matt Savage. We're here in the Bellagio, one of the most notorious poker rooms in the country and just behind us is the infamous Bobby's Room. I think Doyle's taking some money today. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Now, we've got a great show for you today. Matt caught up with a whole variety of poker players. That's right, Sarah. We cover the gamut on this show. First off, we're going to talk to Chris Mormon, one of the best live and online tournament players. I'll go head-to-head -head with Jason Mercier, and we'll also talk to a player that made the final table of the $5 million event through two satellites. That's amazing. And we're going to look at how poker playing professionals manage their bankrolls and also take a look at one of the hottest stops on the poker circuit, the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open. But first, let's check out Matt Savage sitting down with Chris Mormon to talk about his life, his history, and his new book, Inside Poker. We're always looking for interesting stories and players. One that caught our attention at this time was Larry Moshe, an amateur poker player who won two satellites on his way to a $5 million guarantee final table. Matt sat down with Larry to learn more. Is poker, and this is Inside Poker. Hello everyone and welcome to Inside Poker. We are here in the gorgeous and recently renovated Caesars Palace Poker Room. This is Matt Savage, I'm Sarah Herring. Now Matt, when we think about the World Series of Poker final tables, I think there's one that stands out more than any other. Of course, I'm talking about Chris Moneymaker and Sammy Farha with you right there on the microphone. Yeah, the World Series of Poker definitely has a, a great place in my heart over the years. It's been an amazing event. And we have some great segments in this show surrounding the World Series of Poker. We'll also go head-to-head -head with Norman Chad, the WSOP commentator, and we'll also speak with an Inside Poker Insight from the November 9 with Phil Locke. That's right, it is going to be a great show, and I talked to some players about the November 9 and just what makes this final table so unique. That's right, Sarah. Let's get this show started. I recently got to sit down with Greg Merson, the 2012 champ. He's going to discuss how the World Series of Poker changed his life. Watching Inside Poker. Now here's our host, Sarah Herring. Inside Poker was in attendance at the World Series of Poker main event final table. You know, the one where Joe McKeon rolled over the competition with a dominant chip lead to take home $7.6 million. Of course, the ESPN coverage is fantastic, but we wanted to get a little more to find out from top players what makes this event so fantastic. You went in four bucks for this, so I'm not going to keep you any longer. Uh, do you love shuffle up and deal? Hello everyone and welcome to Inside Poker. My name is Sarah Herring and I am joined by my co-host Matt Savage. We have a great show for you tonight. Sarah, I've been all over the world and I've interviewed a lot of great poker personalities, but in this stop we go to Maryland where I visit with Dan Schack, one of the biggest high rollers around. We're going to take you inside the WPT in Maryland. We talk to players about what makes these smaller WPT stops, options, and structures so great. I'll also go head to head with Darren Elias, plus visit some top WPT players for some valuable Inside Poker insight. Let's head over to the Maryland Live Casino where Matt sat down with one of the most interesting players in the game, Dan Shack. Oh, 
host, Sarah Herring. We wanted to take you inside a non-televised but top-level WPT event. This one took place just outside of Baltimore in a new casino called Maryland Live. One of the things that make these WPT stops so interesting is the flavor of players that come. It attracts top players from around the region and around the country, all looking to share their part of that prize pool. The first